got people trying to snipe me over here. Let's see if you can make that shot. I've been playing for a few years now. That is... Oh, we got a strike. Wow, that was pretty close. Let's aim a little bit higher. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Yeah, I've been playing way too much War Thunder. Alright, so that is around 1500 meters. But I believe there's another target over there. There he is, there he is. So that guy should be around here. Oh, that's way too high. Yeah, 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 hit, hit that wall there. Beautiful. <laughs> oh man, that's wonderful. Oh, I just love snipes like this. All right, one guy escaped though. We didn't get him, but that's okay. I think we got, yeah, we got enough people in Bravo or at Bravo. Hey guys, Jbrider here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to War Thunder. Hope you guys are doing well. So for today's video, we are checking out probably one of the scariest vehicles the Allied forces had to face during World War II, and that is the Tiger II-H. But today we're checking out the premium version, which is a Tiger II-H SLA-16, which has better engine performance and a slight uh, armor better armor protection around the turret as you guys can see with the extra tracks on the side the tracks itself is like 30 millimeters and the turret side is 80 millimeters so uh, 110 millimeters of protection the standard tiger 2 h does not have that and the engine's also a little bit weaker but you know still gets the job done so the tiger 2 h has the famous 88 millimeter kwk 43 cannon which really packs a punch and it is really good at the BR that it's at. Now the Tiger 2H also has a smoke grenade launching system and it fires them from this hole right here and you get a maximum ammo of 12 and it fires them one by one which is pretty handy. The Tiger 2H also has a 7.92mm MG43 machine gun for the commander and a coaxial machine gun over here. The Tiger has a third rotation speed of 17.9 degrees per second which is pretty slow but it gets the job done. It has a gun elevation of 15 degrees and a gun depression of 8, which is not too shabby. Reload rate is a bit long at 7.9 seconds. Armor-wise, this thing is pretty good from the front, even from the sides a little bit, but uh, the turret is really, really easy to hit. And the side is also massive, so with a good penetrating round, it is easy to take out with one shot shooting it from the side. But the front is another story, unless you shoot the turret chicks. As you guys can see, uh, the left side of the turret is a little bit smaller than the right side. So if you approach an enemy of, or if they're shooting you, uh, you want to angle your turret like this a little bit so it makes them harder for them. So it makes it harder for them to penetrate your turret. Pro War Thunder tips right there. The right side is a little bit bigger. So even if you angle it, they might squeeze around in here, which will blow you up in one shot. The Tiger 2H also comes with a crew of five. And in realistic battle, this thing has a 750 horsepower engine at 2000 RPMs, which gives it a top speed of 42 kilometers per hour. Now, modification wise, you got the Panzer Grenade 39 43, which has a very wonderful penetration of 237 millimeters at point blank range. And then you got the APCR, which is kind of useless, the heat, which is very low penetration and then the high explosive which is also not that great like i said it gets smoke grenade nothing else that is really standing out here except for the premium bonuses so that's a quick overview of the tiger 2 sla in the game now let's hop into some matches and do some sweet war thunder gameplay for you guys all right so welcome to the middle east i know i'm not on the wrong side of the map but somehow we made it here alive we got zero score i just drove here and i made it without any resistance. So there's our first target. Got his engine transmission. He sees me. Let's angle our turret. There we go. Just like I mentioned. Beautiful. I also have someone shooting us from the left. Let's angle our turret a little bit. Oh, that's a uh, T29 or something. Beautiful. Let's back it up a little bit. This T29 has a lot of stopping power angle oh yeah dude <laughs> yeah t29 or if it's a 34 it's even worse he has even more stopping power so let's back it up for a little bit see if we can repair our vehicle oh look at that massive hole <laughs> oh my gosh even though i angled it perfectly somehow he still got through 
Oh, there we go. We got a vehicle. It's an M36. So our third ring is already paired, waiting for the breach. Then we can engage. We got an Anta pushing up. Hold up, hold up. Oh man, we lost our two targets over there. Let's get the Antos real quick. Okay, we're kind of in a rough spot over here. Okay, we didn't get the Antos. We did get his third ring. Oh. Oh, T29. No! Oh, man. But man, check out the survivability on this vehicle, man. We got Antuses. We got T29 shooting me. Survived pretty long. Yeah, but at that cl close distance, yeah. Bet you didn't expect me there. Trying to flank our Rattle 90. But there's, I believe there's one more vehicle at Alpha or near Alpha. I don't hear any engine noises yet. So let's proceed with caution. Oh. Ah, I knew I heard engine noises. I heard them, I heard them, I heard them. Alright, there we go. We got the M56. Like he was moving, but then he stopped, so I wasn't sure if I heard correctly. I believe there's one more vehicle over here. I don't think any. Nope, nothing can be on my right. To my right, there's a friendly. To my left, it's nothing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hold here, repair because what did he get? He got a box, some kind of radio, and my transmission a little bit because he shot the, the side panel over there. Okay, friendly friendly tank shot at something. Let's keep moving. Let's check our left corner here. Nothing. Let's keep pushing up. Target is spotted. But there's also a vehicle spotted over here. There's two vehicles. We've got that one, and the other one is a uh, speedy boy. I got shot by something else as well. Both targets destroyed. Oh, we can all oh, our tracks. Oh, let's angle, let's angle. Turret forward. Oh, I'm getting shot in the back. I knew I heard something. Oh, T92. Yeah, rip. All right, looks like we got our first spot. Welcome to European province, guys. I hit him, but uh, he was moving, so it didn't really work out for me. Let's try again. There we go, beautiful. All right. I got you, T92. I got you back. Oh, but now they're capping the alpha point. I don't think there's anybody else over there. We got a panther that's covering that side as well. I think we're clear. Oh, I saw muscle flash. There we go. Um, I believe that's like a thousand meters. Not 100% sure, but let's try at. 1050 meters very low let's try 1600 beautiful shot churchill down our black prince whatever i did see someone move past me from left to right in my peripheral vision uh oh god dang it wait is he, is he over there That should be another 1600 meters as well. Ish. Let's try 15. Oh. 
Okay, let's push up a little bit more. I'm not sure who shot us, but I'm assuming it's someone over here. There we go. It's moving targets, a bit tricky, but that should work out. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the White Rock Fortress. I hear something to my left. People with fast tank can usually sneak up behind us. Super good. Yep, I see some marked on the map. Oh, dear lordy. If he shot my side, I would have been toast. All right, someone got that guy. And someone else got that guy. So let's go for this guy now. God dang it. Alright, so kind of a rough start here, but we survived so far. There are two more vehicles over here. Here's one of them, which is a FV4005. Let's get main his main uh his main ammo compartment. Okay, let's back it up now. I actually need to go out and uh, change some crew members, but Oh, I see a target over here. Let's get him boys. And then we have another one over here. Oh, they're backing up now. All right, looks like we got something spotted over there. It looks like we got a vehicle over there, finally. Got a Strax. Pretty good hits, kill assist. Whoa there, horsey, whoa. -ho. Oh my god, I got control back. That's amazing. Okay, let's regain altitude because that <laughs> that spin, out of control spin was kind of scary. All right, everybody's pushing up. Uh, what's that? A BMP? He should be a pretty easy target. Oh, it's a Sherman. Ah! Well, guys, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
I can tell you this. The Tiger surely isn't what it used to be. Like back when it first came out, the Tiger 2 SLA or the Tiger 2 H was the king of battle rating 6.7. But these days, with almost every vehicle having access to heat FS at 6.7, it is kind of rough. And there are a lot of light vehicles right now with a good penetrating weapon or gun. So the Tiger 2 H feels kind of... Uh, not that strong anymore, but still a fun vehicle. One great thing about the Tiger 2 Edge Law 16 is the lineup you can build around it. Let me just quickly show you guys because you can run it with the, the Kugel Blitz, the Yak Tiger, not these, the other Tiger 2 H, the Panther 2 if you have access to it, and uh, what else? Oh, yeah, the KWK, the 105 millimeter Tiger, that's also at 6.7. And yeah, so you can have a lot of fun. And aviation-wise, let's see what you got at 6.7. Mm, you got a bunch of ME262s, which are pretty good. This thing is Garbo. Yeah, just the ME262s, maybe with a Tau 152, but they are really expensive at <laughs> in RB. 68,000, my gosh. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm almost at 10k subscribers, so I would really appreciate it if you like the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. And leave a comment, anything you want. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.